see you there. Welcome to Bee's Kitchen. going to be making some Christmas cookies. So let us get started. So these are the cookies. So it's by Pillsbury. Yeah, I've never ever gotten these cookies before. So we're going to see how this works out. So first thing, actually, yeah, we need to read the directions because Lord knows I'm going to mess it up. It's 350. Let's do 350. We need a Okay. okay. How many should I put on at a time? That's the real question. Uno dose. Rest. Wait, you need a close up. You don't care. Okay, there we go. Now you got the close up. How far do they have to be apart, I'm guessing? Probably not that far, so. Okay, so as you saw, I put the cookies on the sheet, and now I gotta wait for the oven to beep, so yeah. I wonder how these taste like raw. Yo, that tastes so good. I mean, it doesn't say to not eat it. I don't say anything wrong with it. I'm gonna wait until the oven beeps, and I'll get back with you when it beeps. Okay, the oven still hasn't beeped, but I feel like I should talk. <coughs> My sister's choking, I need water. Dip in your bitch like water. So let's just talk for a little bit. I ate like three of these raw cookies and they're pretty good. And I'm just like really hungry because I actually haven't even eaten anything today. And I really just want these cookies to be finished so I can just eat them all. And that's the real tea. I just realized that I haven't done a Bee's Kitchen in literally like four months. Like I think the last Bee's Kitchen episode was the summer one. When I made that frappuccino, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I have a pretty face. Oh. Probably not though. When is the oven gonna beat, bro? I really want some cookies. So I saw these on Pinterest because I go on Pinterest like every single day. I never get the Pillsbury Christmas tree cookies or just the Pillsbury, Pillsbury sugar cookies in general. But I saw these and I was like, whoa, I really wanted to make those for Bee's Kitchen. I literally begged my mom and she was like, oh, fine, so. Oh, I'm also doing Vlogmas. I don't know if you know that, but yeah, it's like really fun and lit. I vlog every single day. I just don't get up the vlog every single day. You should just subscribe to that channel if you want. Like, it's totally up to you. Like, it's totally fine. So yeah, I really just don't know what to talk about anymore. I just really want that oven to be so I can put them in there. <sighs> you know what we should do? We should make some hot cocoa while we're waiting. My friends think I'm weird because I don't like milk. I don't know if you know this, but I don't like milk. It's just nasty. I only drink almond milk or coconut milk. So we don't have any like curate hot cocos, but I know we have that one. So, oh God. Ooh, she went on the second shelf. That's great, wow. Okay, so we have Swiss Miss with the marshmallows because if you don't get with the ones with the marshmallows, like what are you doing with your life? We need this vlog style, so yeah, marshmallows. We barely have any marshmallows in here because my freaking brother and sister keep eating them. I'm going to put you back on the thing because I can't do this anymore. My arm's getting tired. Since I don't like milk, I make it with water. <gasps> it beeped. Oh, I'll see you soon in like five minutes, sister. <laughs> so as I was saying, let me like squat or whatever. Since I don't like milk, you guys are probably going to think I'm really crazy. But I don't make my hot cocoa with milk. I know like you should never trust anyone who makes their hot cocoa with water but honestly i think it tastes the same if I, i'm just totally lied right there that's just such a lie figured out that i like it with water when i realized i didn't like milk but the only hot cocoa that i like that with water is the mission in that one's like super good where it's like burning your lip you know one time i was at the mission in they got me hot cocoa and i drank it and it really burned the hell out of my lip and i tried to 
wait for it to cool but like it still was like piping hot so i don't understand why they make it so hot but like it's fine it's like whatever okay so you have to learn how to make it right if you're gonna make it with water we're just gonna put it on the keurig <laughs> I'm just gonna transfer the camera over here. Hold up. So the trick is, right after you make your hot cocoa, you gotta mix it. Like, mix it, mix it, so all the cocoa or hot chocolate disappears into the water. I'll come back when it's mixed or whatever. I'm back. So even though there's marshmallows in here, they kind of dissolve over time. So yeah, I'm just gonna put two in here. Oh, yes. I wonder if I'm gonna have diabetes when I grow up. See how lit that is? Wow. Mm, yep. That's freaking hot. Okay, so the cookies have been in for like five minutes now, and usually with sugar cookies or any type of cookies, you have to leave them in for like five, six minutes. So I'm gonna go check them and see if they're ready. Oh, yep, they're done. I saw a fly in here, and I swear to God, if a fly flies on one of my cookies, I Oh, God, yep. Mm hmm. I knew that was gonna happen. You see that? That would happen to me. Just like how I remember it. Wow, that burned really bad. It dripped over the side. I'm gonna wait in like five minutes until it's ready, and I'll get back with you in five minutes. So here are the cookies, the finished results. I feel like they look really good. Here we go on to the taste test. So we got our cookies, we got our cocoa, so we're all good. Ooh, my stomach's gonna hurt after this. Hmm. Oh, okay, a lot of thoughts going on. So at first when I bit it, I was like, ooh, I messed it up <laughs> because it tasted a little bit burnt, but I think it was because it was just like the bottom part that I ate. And when I started eating the squishy part, it started to taste like a cookie, so if it wasn't hot, I would just eat this all in one bite, but it's like burning my mouth, so. <sighs> you might be asking Brian, why don't you wait for it to cool down? No. I wanted to eat these cookies right away as soon as they came out of the oven, so. What's what's that? What's what's waiting until cooling down? What's that? I like need some water. I'm parched. Dip on your bitch like water. I splash on your bitch with the water. Dip on your bitch like water. I splash on your bitch with the water. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more of Bee's Kitchen, because that can be arranged. Comment down below some things I should make in Bee's Kitchen, because I'm actually running out of ideas. So, comment. We made it to 310 subscribers. So, to get me to 320, subscribe. Tell your friends, be like, hey, I know this YouTuber. She's wearing ears, and she made Christmas cookies and burned the hell out of her mouth. I'm gonna go. I will talk to you guys next Sunday with another video. <gasps> Bye! I'm just trying to keep my baby warm to the winter time. I'm just trying to give you something to remember to the summertime. Merry Christmas, here I am, boy. Gonna love you, gonna give you all I can, boy.